Hi, my name is John Escobar, and I'm going to be sharing with you what ambisonics are. Ambisonic recording involves the use of special multi-capsule microphones. These are arranged in a cluster in order to maintain phase coherence and directional markers based on the pickup pattern and angle of the capsules in relation to each other. In a basic configuration, also known as first order ambisonics, we're dealing with four capsules in a tetrahedral array. From these, we get a W, X, Y, and Z axis, or up, down, left, right, front, and back. In higher order ambisonics, we add capsules for more dedicated points of reference in order to add more detail and access points into our field of hearing. You'll want to make sure and capture each channel in the correct order. These can sometimes change from mic to mic depending on manufacturer. Even though these microphones can hear 360 degrees around them, it's important to know where the front of the mic is. You'll also want to know the orientation of the mic towards your main sound source to accurately use the recording later. Is its orientation front facing, upside down, or end fire? Working with ambisonics, we're dealing with two different formats. In production, we call that A format recording. In other words, the individual output of each capsule on the microphone. Later in post-production, we're going to need to convert that into what's known as B format ambisonics. When capturing your A format recording, calibration is very important because we're dealing with individual outputs of capsules all working together. In order to do this, you're gonna to want to have a test tone so that you can accurately measure the input to each capsule and make sure that it is as even as possible to one another. Ambisonic audio gives us a lot of flexibility over traditional formats and how we can apply them to media later. We can use them in surround formats for virtual reality, in binaural, stereo, atmos, or other forms of playback, depending on what your project requires. Because of its high definition and the fact that we're recording a wide angle in terms of what's in the space around us, ambisonics provide us a very future-proof way of working with audio in post-production. It's also a very high-def version of audio in terms of fidelity, giving us a very realistic way of how we're hearing the world around us. Even though ambisonics provide us all of these benefits, we do have to be aware that we need specialized equipment, there's larger file sizes, and in general, we have to be more conscious of the different conversions that we have to go through in post-production. Hopefully, this has given you a pretty good idea of what ambisonics are and what's needed in order to work with them.